Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In January 2020, the Indian government shortlisted two Indian shipyards and five foreign defense companies for its Project 75I which calls for the local construction of six conventional class submarines fitted with AIP system. The two local shipyards that were shortlisted are privately owned LNT Group and state owned MDL. The five foreign OEM which were shortlisted are Dow Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering DSME now rebranded as Hanwha Ocean of South Korea, Navantia of Spain, Naval Group of France, Rubin Design Bureau of Russia and TKMS of Germany. The German TKMS has signed memorandum of understanding with MDL in June 2023 for construction of submarines under project 75i as per the latest media report the spanish firm navencia has also submitted its bid for project 75i the last date to respond to the rfp for this project is august 2023 in october 2022 speaking to the new indian express the Spanish ambassador to India has said that India is considering buying submarines and several countries including Spain are taking part in the tender. The Spain considers that Navencia's offer is very competitive in terms of quality, cost, transfer of technology and indigenization. Navencia would be in charge of providing to the Indian Navy with state of art conventional AIP submarines if the government of India considers the offer. In today's video we will explore the S80 plus capabilities and try to find out where does it fit into the project 25i requirement The S80 plus is the latest class of submarine being built by Spanish shipbuilding company Navencia The submarine was designed in late 90s and was redesigned in mid 2010 Spain has planned to construct four submarines of this class with the lead vessel of this class S81 has already completed its first trial and initial sea trial in mid 2022 it is expected to enter service by 2023 the remaining submarines of this class that is s82 83 and 84 will complete its construction and trials by 2027 s80 plus as claimed is highly automated submarine with state of art platform control system developed by Navencia system which allows it to be operated by a reduced crew of 32 sailors and 8 seats for boarding additional personnel capable of reaching a diving speed greater than 90 knots and a maximum depth of immersion greater than 300 meters it is approximately 80 meter long and 7 meter in diameter and has a submerged displacement close to 3000 tons The characteristic of this class of ship places them at a level close to those of nuclear propulsion. One of the major requirements of Project 25I, where Indian Navy is not ready to compromise, is proven AIP system. The S80 Plus is powered by three 1,200 kilowatt bioethanol engines, one 3,500 kilowatt main electric engine, and one 300 kilowatt AIP system. Its AIP is a third generation anaerobic AIP propulsion called BEST bioethanol stealth technology which consists of bioethanol reformer to produce hydrogen which in turn reacts with oxygen in the fuel cell generating electricity. This system allows to extend autonomy of submarine in immersion up to 3 weeks at a submerged speed of 4 knots which substantially reduces its level of detectability. The IP system developed for submarine has completed its final test only in February 2020. Therefore, the first two submarines of this class that is S81 and 82 is not fitted with AIP system and will be retrofitted during their first major overhaul. So technically, S80 plus submarine is yet to have an operational AIP. The submarine incorporates a combat system developed by Navencia in collaboration with US company Lockheed Martin with ability unique among the conventional submarines with similar characteristic to launch tactical land attack missiles. In August last year, Navencia performed official combat system test on S81. The submarine features 6 533 mm torpedo tubes which can fire DM 
टू ए फोर हेवी टॉपिडोज और यू जी एम एटी फोर सी हार्पून ब्लॉक टू एंड यू जी एम वन जीरो नाइन टॉम हॉक क्रूज मिसाइल द सब मरीन इज फीटेड विद एक्टिव एंड पैसेज सोनार्स विद एक्यूरेट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक डिटेक्शन सिस्टम द सब मरीन कैन कम्युनिकेट वाई लिंक एलेवन एंड लिंक ट्वेंटी टू डेटा लिंक्स नाउ इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट इफ यू कंपेयर कलवरी क्लास सबमरीन विद एस एटी प्लस देर इज नो मच सिग्निफिकेंट डिफरेंस विच आई कैन सी इन टर्म्स ऑफ कैपेबिलिटीज बोथ द बोट्स आर फिटेड विद सिक्स फाइव हंड्रेड थर्टी थ्री एम एम टॉर्पिडो ट्यूब विच कैन फायर हेवियर टॉर्पिडोज और एंटीशिप मिसाइल्स और क्रूज मिसाइल्स बोथ द बोट्स ऑफर इंडोरेंस क्लोज टू फिफ्टी डेज कलवरी क्लास हैज अ रेंज ऑफ ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड किलोमीटर एट अ स्पीड ऑफ एट नॉट्स वन सरफेस्ड एंड थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर्स एट फोर नॉट्स वन सर्मर्ज एस ए टी प्लस हैज इंडोरेंस ऑफ एट थाउजेंड किलोमीटर However, when we compare their size, S80 Plus is much bigger submarine than Calvary class with displacement close to 3200 ton when surfaced, while Calvary class submarine has displacement of just 1615 tons. Having lesser displacement and smaller size, Calvary class submarine have smaller footprint overall. Further, Calvary class needs less powerful propulsion system which contributes for most of the acoustic sound. which attracts torpedoes therefore calvary class seems to be much stealthier than s80 plus both submarines are not having any operational fuel cell based eip system which is primary requirement of indian navy and these submarines will get it only after their first major overhaul the first boat under calvary class submarine is said to be retrofitted with drdo's fuel cell based eip in 2025 therefore in my opinion calvary class submarine is still a proven and a better choice for indian navy than s80 plus This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.